The highly contentious race for the GOP nomination in Congressional District 22 is over. Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nails soundly defeated Kathleen Wall, but now comes the general election in November. Will Republicans be able to hold on to this important seat? Here's our Ron Trevino. The signs are still up, but the battle between Troy Nails and Kathleen Wall is over. Our political expert Bob Stein says he's not surprised that Nails won, but he was surprised by the wide margin. But to be de beaten almost 80-20 um, after you spent $8 million, um, that's a lot of money to spend to do so poorly. But now Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nails has to look forward to the general election. He's the Republican nominee in a district that has been Republican for so many years, going up against the Democratic nominee, Shri Preston Kulkarni, who's hoping to flip this district. This is a district that is skewing Democratic. Stein is basing that on new voter registration numbers. I could see new registered voters in precincts that are overwhelmingly Democratic among voters well below the age of 45, many of them females, and many of them non-Anglo. And now Congressional District 22, which includes most of Fort Bend County and parts of Harris and Brazoria counties, is seen as a battleground. Why is the 22nd so much of a focus of attention? Many think it's quintessential of what's happened in Texas. Changing demographics in Texas, he says it puts Democrats in a more competitive position, but he says nails could have the edge. This is a incumbent sheriff who's been in office and public service for you know a great deal of time and he has a familiarity to the district that rises above President Trump. Nevertheless, he sees a head-to-head -head race, one of the hottest in the country this November. Ron Trevino, KHOU 11 News.